Hello and welcome to my video about installing uh, Tsugi based tools into Coursera. Tsugi is a framework that I've built for building uh, teaching and learning tools that are particularly good for um, tools that are quickly quick built, built quickly, etc. Um, I have a whole, if you're interested in technology behind it, there's a whole YouTube channel for Tsugi. Um, www.tsugi.org is where to see. Uh, more information. So um, this, for example, is a Coursera class that I have, and um, I've got several different LTI tools, all hosted with Sugi, that you can la launch um, from this system. So like I have a auto grader, a Python auto grader. This is a link that's going to open in a new window, and this is all provisioned, um, and so I can see this. That can um, I can check my assignment. I can it uh, checks the assignment, sends a grade. I'm the teacher, so I can see various things. I can configure the assignment. Um, I also have a peer graded assignment, where I have things that I'm supposed to images and some text I'm supposed to submit. And then I grade other people's folks, and again, configuration choices are here because I'm the teacher, and I will close that. Uh, another thing that I use is I use it to make course maps. And these course maps are uh, student, students set their location um, in the course map. And we can see the students in uh, this particular instance of my class. Let's zoom in on some students. See where folks are at. Okay. So that's another, this is an iframe. And there is a tool running inside. So this is a, this is a, under this button is a, oops. Under this button is a Coursera page. And within that page is an iframe that points at a Tsugi tool, a properly config, configured Tsugi tool. And then because, um, because Coursera doesn't show LTI grades in the right way, it's important to give students a way to check their LTI grades. So this is another uh, page. This is another uh, Coursera page. If I take a look at this page, you will see that it is uh, simply a if I switch to HTML. It's an iframe and it links to a URL and I'll show you in a second how to make these URLs. So that's an overview of ultimately where we're going. And um, so let me show you how this works. So I'm going to use one of my old classes. This class has been closed for a couple of months, so I'll be able to put a few things in here. And so first you have to get a key and a secret. And so this is what you'll get. You'll be told, um, you know, maybe you installed your own Sugi and you made your key, or maybe you're going to use one of mine. And I say, here's your key, and here's your secret. And then I'll tell you some URLs. So this is the URL to the peer grader. This is the URL to the map. You can't just go to these URLs. If you go to these URLs just directly, you will see that they're like, I am supposed to be launched using LTI. It's not just a website. This is a tool that's in, that it has only purpose to be plugged into something. It, it, it itself is not a website. It's not going to ask your users for accounts. It gets all that information from Coursera or whatever it's doing. And so, so you can't just go to these things and say, give me a login. This is basically, we're setting up a web service relationship using this key, the C an API key, the secret, and the URLs inside Coursera. So let's take a look at this. So under advanced in Coursera, you go to LTI management. And here we have a series of tools. Okay, and I've got none right now, and so I'm going to make a tool. I'm going to call this the um, external, let's call this the map tool. And so you see here we've got to paste in a couple of things. And so I will paste in the URL, the key. and the secret. Okay, and uh, you can decide what you want to do 
share the full name, share the email. The students will get an option to, uh, to change this uh, or override this, meaning they might share less than what you asked to share. And when you're all done, and there's no save button, but when you're all done, you end up with this link right here, okay? And that link then can be put at various places in the Coursera user interface. But let's go ahead and make a couple more of these things. Um, I'm gonna call this assignment, I'm gonna use assignment one. And then I'm gonna put the peer grader, the peer grader in for assignment one. I'll just copy these. I'll make one more. I'll call this assignment two. Now, this one is going to be also a peer grader. You, ne you need to, as many assignments as you're going to put in, you need to put these things in because this URL has a assignment ID in it, and this number three, you'll notice in this was number four. This tells the Tsugi framework that these are two different things. If you, this is one, they're independent set of grades, and so you gotta do this over and over and over again, okay? Okay, now you don't actually save these guys, Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, grab one of these URLs. Let me grab the map URL here. And I'm going to pop that baby up in a new window. Press enter. Now what's happening is there's actually a bunch of data going on and the account has been sent. There's been a course set up in Sugi. And now you'll see that I am actually talking to Sugi. And away I go. And I'm the instructor and I'm moving stuff around and I can configure things. And this is just the Sugi tool. Okay. Okay. So, so then I'll just show how I can embed this in a page. So I'll, I'll go back to my course. And we've got these tools all defined, and we've got the URLs, and I've got this one copied in. And I'm going to go into Content, into Section Manager, and I'm going to make a new page at the very bottom of my class. Got some course pages here, and I'm going to add a new page. Add a course page, and I'm going to call this course page Course Map. And then I'm going to edit the page. And I'm going to go into HTML, and I'm going to remember my URL, and I'm going to go borrow. Borrow my iframe text here from my other class. There's my iframe. And I've got to change this URL to be the one that's in my internet. That's my Python URL. And and so in this URL, it, it contains the course ID and the link within the course and a whole bunch of other stuff. These numbers are very important to get right. And I just copied those off of that LTI page. And so now I'm going to publish this and it's visible. And so the name of this page is course underscore map. Now I can go into setup navigation bar and I can create course map. It's a wiki page and its name is course underscore map and I can put that at position 15. So now I want to go back to my class. I have a thing called course map and if all goes well you will see that that's the iframe and in there it is launching to that URL and this is coming from Sugi. Okay. So that's one place to put these. Okay. Um, and so now I will uh, go grab a URL for one of my assignments. Uh, you can put these anywhere. You could literally make a, a wiki page that says assignments, boom, 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 How, however you want to do that. Um, and I'm going to make a, an, I mean, it doesn't matter how you do this. 
Um, you can make this, once you have this link, you can put it anywhere. I sometimes put it in a question inside of a, a video. I sometimes put it in as a resource. I'm going to make another page. I'm going to call that page Assignments. I'm going to edit it. Put that in. And I think the assignment two is the same thing, but with the number four here. take a look at the preview it's going to render my HTML and I believe if I hit this button right it should pop me up a new window and there is one peer grader and if I close this and I pop up another window I have another one and so now we need to uh, I mean I could again link this using various things who knows how I'm going to do this I could put another link to the external grades or the map who knows how I do it you can just anywhere you can get a URL. Now you can't go to the external URL. You see the URL down here is the Coursera launch URL, which, which sets up the web services and then redirects. So you see it go and then it redirects after it sets up a session. And so let me close all these guys. And so you can put these anywhere, but this is assignment one. Now, once you've done this, you've got to set up and configure the assignments within SUGI. So I'll configure assignment one and I'll click configure this assignment. And so this is someday I will have a really pretty user interface for this. But for now, you just edit some JSON. OK, and you sort of have some text and then you can set the points and et cetera, et cetera. Now it'll look for the syntax. And if you make a grievous error, it won't save it. Oh, I did make a grievous error. What didn't it like about that? Assignment one, some text. Some text, grading text. Um, I'll take this out. I will add a second image. Got to get your JSON right, so I need a comma there. Image one, image two. Let's see if I got that right. Save. There we go. And so you can see that you're putting some HTML in. And so you get to choose. This is what the student view is and then they do the uploading and then they get the great other ones and you can play all with that. But basically that gives you the sense of how this fits in Coursera. And so let me just show you a couple of different places that you can put these in by showing you how I've got my Programming for Everybody course. Um, I have the course map that's just a button, which is a wiki page, which is a wiki page with an iframe in it. Right? I have the external grades, which is another wiki page. It's a wiki page inside of Coursera with a link, iframe link to the grades slash index.php. Um, and then what I do is I tend to want to intersperse my assignments, but you may not want to do this. It takes a while for students to find them. I turn these into resource links inside of Coursera. And so this auto grader actually opens right there in a new window and it pops it up. And so that's my auto grader. And I actually have a little video that tells them about what the assignment is like. And here's a, here's a peer grader that I have linked in. And so that's basically the pattern, right? You either make pages or you have places. You could, 
you could make it so that you're playing a video and one of these URLs could be embedded in that video if you like. Again, so thanks for listening. I, I hope this helps. Um, this is basically about how to plug a Tsugi tool into Coursera.